science is a really, really big part of your life, but um, can you explain what science means to you? What science means to me? Wow. I am... Um... I just can't really understand anybody that doesn't have natural curiosity. It's sort of like talking to an alien. It's like, how could you possibly not want to know what causes thunder? Or, you know, why does the sun set? Or, or all of these things. I, I guess there may be some human differences in this. You know, I have this wonderful, creative, intelligent mother. And she's always been like, you know, why are you looking up at these silly little lights in the sky? What could you possibly learn? What is there possibly to enrich your life up there? So maybe there are some real legitimate human differences. But for me... I mean, it really would be like the giant pink elephant in the middle of the room, right? It, there's always the question, why? Why does this thing happen? And so for me, science was a very natural, organic thing, because I can't imagine not having those questions all the time. I'm still that three-year-old saying, how does that work? Why? 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 And I, I can't imagine what my personality would possibly be like without that. How do you think that uh, science media could possibly portray that any better to the public? Well, this, this portrayal of scientists as being very rigid somehow, very linear, you know, very, very stuck in one way of doing things, is, um, it, well, for one thing, it's not how I find scientists at all. You know, I mean, I think you find many more of the people that... I recognize that are really enthusiastic, that are really curious. Mm -hmm. You know, although science is a great lifestyle, you're not going to get filthy rich at it. You're not going to take over the world. So you, you, you end up. We, I'd love to be the evil genius scientist, but sorry, I haven't found a way to do it yet. Um, so you, you find people with that natural curiosity, and to me, there's just this really big disconnect between the way we're portrayed by media and the way we really are. And it's getting better. I mean, I mean, things are obviously getting a bit more. You know, interesting. They're mixing it up. There are women scientists in media, but just that whole personality type of the linear, obsessive, compulsive, rigid person seems to have nothing to do with what being a scientist is like. I guess if you're an artist, you could complain the same way, right? Artists are portrayed as crazy, you know, barely holding it together, addicted to some sort of amazing drug, you know, suicidal. And I'm sure artists would say that that has nothing to do with what being an artist really is. It's the same with science. Can you tell me? What is your absolutely, absolutely favorite thing that you have ever learned? Oh, okay. Scientific, like scientific thing you ever I learned. I actually do have a favorite fact. Okay. You know, I mean, as a kid, it just, it just weirded me out to no end, and I just love it. And that's that, you know, any atom more complex than a hydrogen or helium atom had to be made inside a star. So when, when you look around you and you think, oh my God, I'm made of carbon and oxygen and nitrogen and calcium, every single one of those atoms was actually forged inside a star that then blew up billions of years ago. And uh, you know, the only thing that makes gold on a wedding ring is, is a supernova explosion. That's the only way you make a gold atom. So that is my favorite fact, that everything around us, everything that we're made of, was made in a star that had to explode before we could get these atoms. That's my favorite fact. Awesome. Do you have anything that you'd just like to tell people? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's message to the universe. Um, the experience of joy and curiosity and, and, and gentleness, you know, I mean, all of that I, I really feel comes out of being a scientist. You know, I think it's very hard to hate anybody. If you're genuinely curious about, you know, why they think that way, how are, why, what are they reacting to, so that, that keeping, keep asking that question why, and I think the world will be a better place. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>